All right, good afternoon to you guys. Back at home. For about two o'clock. Out for nearly two hours. And uh, still got the Coventry Police, the Coventry Undercovers, the Coventry CID, and the local community, the old generation, and, and the sons and daughters, and the uh, old associates, I think they can stitch me up. So I took my car, got rid of my car, down Broad Street, couple of couple individual suspects around Broad Street, just before that where the bus stop is, ambulance crew, ambulance crew went past, on Broad Street, a couple of postmen on the side of the road, on the way back, back out, a woman in a, in a mini, and then walking down further road, down to the bus stop, Someone come out of a child of clothes in the cover, trying to sm sm smile to me. My app went off, in infrasound went off, going to the bus stop just before the bridge. By TDM mobile car, car wash Coventry, where the bus stop is. So I stood, and the surveillance tramps are everywhere. Yeah, I'll call them surveillance tramps now. Yeah, remote neutral monitoring surveillance tramps are, are in my vicinity now in my property, listening to me. And uh, the Comptry CID, Comptry Police Force, can't do nothing to me to try and stitch me up under criminal offences being done by other people. Yeah, using biometrics, using thermology, infrared, ult ultrasound, whatever, trying to say it's me. Yeah, I'll deny it all the way. Yeah, they are desperate, disgusting Comptry Police Officers tramps. Yeah, doing cybercrime and using Armed Forces Network, using Coventry Council, Healthcare, NHS and the Mental Health Administrators. Yeah, all, all, all working as a fucking team, as an over and COVID team, thinking if the police can't stitch me up, I'm thinking that healthcare system can stitch me up, can stitch me up. So, they wanted me to, to, to report to my GP yesterday, radiation and poisoning. He goes, oh, the NHS won't do that, you'll have to go to... to, to, to You'd have to go private. I was like, okay. I goes, how about MRI? Scan it on my feet. He goes, well, if your feet are not are, are not in, injured and not in pain, we can't just give you an MRI scan. I was like, okay. So a couple of hours later, the GP's phoned up and says, yeah, we'll go down to A and E, uh, and discuss with them about radiation and what you've discussed with us on the phone, which sounds like a stitch up. So I'm not going to bother with that. I'll see how I can get radiation radiation diagnosis somewhere else. Secondly, there's this healthcare checkup. Whatever they want me to go to next week, I don't think I'll go to that either. Yeah, they're all one big racketeering, corrupted, yeah, misdiagnosing, stitch up and frame up, Coventry Council establishment and NHS. Can't be trusted because they cover up I know they've covered up, they've covered up loads of people from the local community, loads of people from my generation, and covered up everything in Vincent Wilde's house, William Malcolm House, allowing Class A drug dealers to deal around there. Well, the worst I did was I have a smoke and a drink. Yeah, my own privacy. Yeah, so they've allowed loads of people to sell Class A drugs, yeah, which I don't, I don't condone. Yeah, and they're putting Class A drugs on the streets. Even lad addicts, addicts to deal when I had to make a phone call. To say some some girl used my phone, yeah, and my new phone. I mean, uh, I, 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 strange coincidence. How how was his first day? I, I had my new number. That's someone in the block of flats who I thought was uh, didn't know she was mean. Didn't know they were involved in drugs. Didn't look like it. Begging to use my phone because she wanted to make an emergency call. Yeah, so. Well, I, I mean, obviously here all last night due to what I posted. Yeah, trying to try all kinds of experiments linked to the gateway process, gateway project, gateway experiments. Yeah, trying to watch people sleeping and trying to decide to cipher their memories and while using subliminal messaging to try and uh, get them dreaming or thinking about whatever they're throwing targets ways, my way. Yeah, so I've just been on the bus. Yeah, I'm not going to buy another car until I've got compensation from Coventry Police. Yeah, to walk away. 
Well, the surveillance tramps, we're here for the football season. Yeah, we're here to pass information on to old boys, old girls who are retired, to senior experienced police officers who want to fucking boost their wages up. Yeah, and to the training juniors who think we're geniuses, think we're intelligence. Yeah, Ryan Lewis's, the Tony Chapman's and everyone else I've mentioned before from the Viking Comedy community who have all latched onto it. Because they're racketeering, thieving fuckers who stitch and frame other people up for their crimes. And so I went to the city centre, jumped off. Jumps off by, let's try and think. Du, 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 du. Jumps off by the Pure Gym, Comedy Bishop Street. Jumped off down there. Walked down Corporation Street. Cut through the shopping arcade. And uh, walk through the town centre, looking up, high up, at all the shops, above the shops, where all the offices are. And that's where the police police will be hiding, the covert operators will be hiding, the sector workers hiding. Yeah, seeing if they can get reaction out of us. So, yeah, you just, as long as you don't give them their reactions, carry on walking, smiling, and get going about your way. Yeah, they can't do nothing. They use the CCTV. Yeah, so, so advise everyone who's targeted. Yeah. Everywhere CCTV'd. Well, they've got the cover up players doing their own little profile making, their own piss take videos. And from there, I went to Iceland, did a bit of shopping, jumped on the bus, come back home. And so the apps. Infrasound. Little niche there. So you mean all of them are capturing me from the left to the right. They're lying, they're filming other people, because I was there, I walk through the city centre. Loads of skinny people out there. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm not skinny. Yeah, I'm average, medium build. Yeah, loads of skinny people everywhere, all over the city centre, from drug addicts to, to skinny people. Yeah, and it's obvious they're filming other people, photographing other people's biometrics, using ant on technology, using thermology, using track and trace, and then trying to say it's me. And then they think they can make an emergency call to the ambulance crew services, yeah, to health care, to NHS, to social workers, and to the mental health administrators. Yeah, that's this disrupt and framework they're doing every day. They're filming other people and other, other, other properties, trying to state it's me and my, or my mother, because they're going to target her as well. Yeah, so everyone realise, yeah, Eritrean people, African people, foreign people, Coventryarians who are not in this gang, yeah, the inner circles of Coventry, yeah, that's how they stitch and frame people up trying to stitch them up into the, into the sectors, using other people's activities, other people's bodies outlined, yeah? And then trying to say these people are degenerated these through drugs, alcohol, yeah? Over reliant on drugs, substance abuse, yeah? Or they've uh, deluded what we're trying to say about me. Well, and they've lost loads of weight, yeah? Because uh, I walked past some bloke I used to work with, A.D. Williams, I think, who works for the council now. He worked at the post office. Yeah, he used to live in Wiking. Yeah, yeah, I've always been medium, medium sized build, probably bigger than what it was when I first started working. Yeah, they're compulsive lawyers in the NHS Community University Hospital, in the social services, in the health care, in the public health, and in the mental health administrators. Proper compulsive lawyers. So I'm exposing how it is. Yeah, they use other people's activities and other people's bodies to try and get damning personal persecutions. Their court orders, trying to say, we're trying to help people, trying to say it's an emergency. People have to be detained. So that's, that's a covert, that's their script. That's what they come out with in the family court protection when they speak to judge and jury and show other people's bodies and other people's activities. So, 13th for six, some reason the dress didn't come up along Fraser Road when I walked down to the bus, to the bus stop. Yeah, I'm going to come out of the garage. That's in the seat centre. And this one is... City centre as well. 
and uh, they're still clicking away. The COVID team knew that. Thinks he can click away 24 hours a day. Him and his COVID team. Yeah, whoever they're doing it for. I think they can click away 24 hours a day to keep a memory of us. Wow, well, I've got my memory. Yeah, it's all on social media. And it's all saved on the cloud. So even if they think they can try and break in, trying to warm me up <laughs> when I was on the bus. Yeah, <laughs> going to the garage straight away. Yeah, trying to say that someone's breaking into my flat. And I'm sitting on the bus thinking, yeah, really? So what? Yeah, I'm insured. So... Yeah, whatever goes missing, I'll get it back. Yeah, so, so that's how disgusting, yeah, these psychological warfare-enabled cover operators are. Yeah, and I'll just fucking go with the flow, thinking that I'm going to freak out and jump off the bus straight away and go back home. Yeah, that's how deluded. Yeah, how backwards, how degenerated these, these sector workers are. Still carrying on psychological warfare. And they're over here, they're here for the football season. Yeah, think they can keep memory of it all. Yeah, well... But, you know, realise, that's why I call them surveillance tramps. Yeah, trying to boost their income up, trying to boost the bank finances up. Yeah, by stealing data from people like me and everyone else for dinner to in Coventry all over the West Midlands. Yeah, they are bona fide racketeering police officers, armed forces mercenaries, retired boys and girls. Yeah, old boys and girls to fucking middle aged. Yeah, to fucking youngsters. Yeah, one big surveillance enabled. Yeah. See for rural technology enabled, cybercrime enabled, overt and covert tramps into voyeurism. Yeah, modern day peeping time gang. That's why everyone's got to call them across the UK. But for Coventry, because Coventry history is peeping Tom and Lady Godiva. Yeah, it's the modern day peeping Tom gang. Yeah, and the Lady Divas. Plastic wannabe gang, gang members and plastic gangsters moles. That's what I think of, of all the old association who tried to run me up in street theatre. Yeah, I've been networking me back and forth to their people because the police the police allowed it. Yeah, local police to police juniors to corrupted police gangs. Yeah, who let the crime happen because we're all getting paid. So, saga so continues. Yeah, they're going to sit here now, watch me eat some walking chicken. Yeah, I've got a f f full medium chicken to go through. I had a bit last night. Yeah, and uh, I'll have that for a couple of days. So I live my own. Yeah, so, and, and now I'm going to make sure no one's wagging back around here. Unless they call me first. And because I've crossed a lot of people off, I don't get no phone calls. Yeah, so that, that, that's another thing to use against the Coventry Police. Yeah, the West Midlands Police Force, the DCIs, the CID, and the private investigators, whoever they think they are, they are surveillance tramps. Yeah, prolonging. Why ever spend them in surveillance? Because a bunch of thieving fucking tramps doing cybercrime and think they can keep memories of targets while they experiment instead of going out catching criminals. Wasting taxpayers' money. Wasting the police force's money. Wasting the NHS's money. Wasting the Coventry Council establishment's finances. Because the judge and jury are not in on it as well. Yeah, they're a bunch of fucking tramps as well. Yeah, because they've got enough money. Yeah, but they want to boot fucking carry on. Boosting fucking ink, boosting finances up. Yeah, corrupted police, surveillance, cybercrime, thieving, trampy behaviour. Everybody digest it all, so I've got to analyse it all and have a good crunchy Friday and enjoy the coming weekend. And while the football season's on, no one's welcome around here. Everyone out. <laughs>